so invincible ended a while back and i just wanted to make this quick video with some of my updated thoughts um i actually did a two hour long recording with devi godfather and me where we talked about everything under the sun regarding this show and i, I talked more about my feelings there so if that video is out before this one or, or it's out after i'm gonna link it in the description and tag it at the end of the video or like in a community post or something because i said everything i had on my mind and i guess at one point i was like oh i didn't need, i don't need to do this but i do need to do this because invincible is a show that everybody needs to watch it's it's amazing how a show or a premise that's been done to death still it manages to keep things fresh and interesting a lot of the things that happen in this show a lot of the premises a lot of the plot points were created in a time where superhero comics and shows i guess that whole genre was new i guess people are like oh evil superman we've seen it before but when this thing was done the whole concept of this alien from another planet having superman like powers being evil was new was new new fresh and interesting i think it was in 2004 um uh, i know now that some characters have been changed i don't know if i mentioned that in my last video i can't be bothered to go and check but um amber used to be white and i was informed that um i can't even remember the characters names anymore it's been a while since i watched this show mark his best friend adam i can't remember he had such a lame name though used to be um was straight but then i've also gotten from like no his, his best friend was actually gay but it took him a while to come out haha <laughs> i get the pun and we have eve those are the only people i care about uh we also have the plot point with rex and monster girl no, not rex uh robot and monster girl um, robot got rex's dna uh it's hard to talk about something when you've already said everything before but you guys don't know what i said so it's kind of like weird for me but just know that this show has me rooting for the alien like yeah yeah omni man is a xenophobe a racist a hypocrite probably a sl uh, sl slavist whatever whatever you call slave owners but at the end of the day, I just need people to know we, we we don't stand a chance against Viltrum. Like the planet, the planet doesn't stand a chance against Viltrumites or whatever. Because apparently in the comics, Omni-Man was able to tear through the knockoff Justice League like butter. So we're doomed. But in this case, they kind of like were scaling his powers up and down to kind of humanize him more. But I feel like maybe as the show goes on, they'll try and show he was holding back a lot. And then the <clears throat> epic end fight where... He's like, in 500 years, what would you have? And Mark was like, I'll have you. To people who haven't watched the show, they have no idea what I'm talking about. Invincible is a show about a young boy named Mark who gets his superpowers closer to the age of 18, where he thinks his dad is basically Superman, but it turns out that his dad is evil Superman and he has to live up to the legacy of conquering Earth. But where his dad fucked up was raising his kid on said Earth, who has now has Earth morals. People, I always thought, oh, he's 50% human, 50% like Viltrum, but people are like, no, the Viltrumite DNA is very dominant. So Mark is 100% Viltrumite, but he's a Viltrumite defending Earth. So now he has to be stronger to protect Earth from his dad and his legions of people who are coming to break our skulls um i personally welcome our new viltramite overlords but people on twitter were like i'd rather die on my feet than live on my knees and i'm like i'd, la I'd rather live period because at the end of the day these people are bringing technology and advances and whatever so so what if they're a little barbaric and harsh and totalitarian i already live in a totalitarian regime i'm from a third world country i barely have rights as it is so them coming over really makes no difference to me whatsoever then we have the whole amber thing that i think i need to make a whole video on i ranted about it on twitter a little too much because Oh my god, Amber, how could you do this to us? We were all rooting for you. Amber breaks up with Mark because he's wishy-washy. He breaks he breaks off um, their dates or whatever. He doesn't show up. And Mark is trying his best to keep this girl in his life. But it turns out that Amber knew Mark was invisible the whole time. <gasps> but she doesn't care because he lied to her so he should just leave her alone and i'm here like bitch stay single if you cannot understand the gravity of mark's situation his powers and his responsibilities you don't deserve to be in his life and people are like oh no y'all just hating a black woman excuse me sir 
she was pissed off at him for running away at the campus when she fucking knew that he just went to change costumes what did you want him to fight in his hero form did you want him to scream at you i'm invincible at that moment hello are we okay some people thought she kind of cheated on him with the light-skinned hoe but then the light-skinned hoe talked about his own girlfriend i think in that moment amber just realized um oh this person they're gonna be together but mark proposed they should go to the college together he wants to keep you in his life and you know he's keeping a secret for a reason but this bitch still said no that she needs to be number one in his life <laughs> when long bitch greedy did his video about this it, it spoke to me on another level i was like just go be happy with amber and then his friends have the audacity to say, yeah, it's kind of your fault. And I'm like, what? Who? The president, I assume this guy, can't remember his name right now. Retro? Vilix? It starts with a V. Virgil? No, god dang it. It's right on the tip of my tongue. I think it's Virgil. Yeah, Virgil. Um, him and his dad basically said, you know, once you tell somebody a secret, you can't untell them. Don't open that box because it can't be closed again. So you could literally say the president of the country and his father, the strongest man on earth, told him to keep his mouth shut. But no, this girl that you've barely been dating for more than six months, you know, tell her your secret. Not your best friend that's known you your whole life. <sighs> The length that this show went in this moment to show black female empowerment. I could have choked a bitch. Can't, wh wh why can't black girls just be shown to be loving and cutesy in a relationship? Why do we all have to be these strong bitches that don't take no bullshit from no man? Fuck you and your ancestors. Get that shit out of my sight. Women, we're not all tough as nails, won't let any man walk all over us. Yes, what Mark did was unacceptable but can we also accept the fact that he's a superhero and there are things more important than you right now karen can we do that i'm sure somebody's gonna be like black people can't be karens anybody can be a karen even a man even you even me we can all be karens um but yeah my vitriolic hatred of amber aside i might actually have to make a whole video on that or i just might cut out this segment and make it a video but who knows um God damn it, I'm so pissed off about the Amber thing. The show ends with, the season ends with Mark's father coming and explaining to him like, yeah, we're evil, but we're not really evil. We're liberators. And oh my God, is that what uh, um, the settlers or whatever said to the Native Americans when they came to like America? We're going to liberate you people from your barbaric ways. Oh my God. So many things are making sense now. This is terrifying. But again, I'm still going to welcome the Viltramites. Ain't no way in hell I'm going up against Omni-Man. Not even in my dreams. So yeah, uh, the show ends with Omni-Man not killing his son and flying away. So many people were scarred by this train scene. They're like, oh my god, I've seen some messed up shit in my life. But this train scene, and I'm like, really? The train scene? Not omni-man beating his son to a pulp and saying he'll try again this man called his wife a pet and she heard but i still don't want this marriage to fall apart virgil get your thirsty ass away from my woman or say from from nolan's woman please i really i i, I was so worried for their marriage but apparently the strange scene scarred a lot of people i was more scarred by the scene where uh, Mark was trying to stop this building from falling and we see this family, this girl fall down, her mother trying to save her and then we just see the desecrated remains of them. Mm, that got to me more than the train scene because the train scene just seemed, just seemed like violence, violence, violence and my brain just kind of tuned out to be white noise like yeah, he's making a point. It's bad, don't get me wrong but come on, it's not that bad. Get over yourselves. You haven't seen shit if that scars you. But again, third world country. I see horrific shit on a daily um so omni man stops killing his son and flies away which people are like that's never happened before and i'm like well he's already taken out earth's strongest whatever so he could have just brought in the viltrumites and be like oh i didn't know they were evil mark play along you know <laughs> but i guess he really did get lulled into the comfort of earth and his family and he was like oh if mark had never shown any tendencies to be a hero. He would have just lived with them till they died out peacefully and then taken over the world. But I guess now with the Viltrumite on Earth, he can't wait that out because he's like, we live incredibly long lives. Like, everybody you know and love will be dead before you look 30. And I was like, 
And I saw spoilers. I think Mark had like kids or something. Please don't pass on this bloodline. You're dooming yourself to an eternity alone. But then I guess you have a daughter to be with him. But mm. and the thing that broke, I guess, going into that daughter thing, because I think the kid that Mark has is a girl. But I think even Amber has a kid with somebody else. But whatever. I I can't really even remember the comic cover that much. Maybe it was a fan something. But the thing that Mark said that got Omni Man to stop killing his son was. When Omni Man said, What will you have in 500 years? Like, why are you fighting for these people who will be dead in the blink of an eye? And Mark was like, I'll have you. And that just broke him. <laughs> that just broke him. And I think maybe he flew back to tell the Viltrumites, Yeah, let's come and take over the Earth. Or maybe he flew away somewhere. And we get a montage of things to come in season two. I don't know how these alien bastards still survive. They're, they're, they're parasites, they're, they're cockroaches of space. And now they have it in for. Nolan, Omni Man, the person who wiped out your entire race. Maybe he didn't wipe out the race. Maybe he wiped out like the country or continent. Or but that bastard was goo when Omni Man was done with him. I don't know how he's still sentient. Um, what else do I have to say? I'm really trying to breathe breeze through a lot of things. Uh, Mark had a hard time recovering. But Am- Amber's bitch ass, skank ass came crawling back at the moment she realized, oh, your job is really dangerous and hard i'm sorry for not being understanding and then she kisses him like step away from the boy he has eve get away from him and um she's like mark's like wait we're still together she's like if you have me and i'm like we know from the comics that Mark and Eve are endgame, so why are they making them get back together only to have them break up in the future? Because from what I gather in the comics, sorry, it's that Amber wants somebody who's able to spend time with her, but Mark isn't able to give her that time. So in the comics, they were able to break up more amicably, but in this in this TV show, they just made it so messy. So maybe they want to have a more amicable breakup, or maybe they can have a quote-unquote white representing boy break up with a black girl. Because people on Twitter were praying for the death of mark and eve's relationship like they were praying for its ruination saying that they don't want it to succeed and i'm like how petty can you be amber broke up with him and he can't go and find happiness people people like you shouldn't date or now we probably know why you're single posting on twitter like i i i I know my worth i know my value if no man can understand me he should keep walking (laughs) maybe that's why there's a whole costco line of men walking by you i'm sorry bitch but some people's toxicity really shined in this because of this show we really understood that some people have no patience for a relationship and don't understand other people's wants and needs um yeah don't allow yourself to get walked over and abused but understand the greater good for the love of humanity um all of mark's friends basically now know he's you know invincible his his gay best friend found out because of the sewer thing and no, he found out even before that. Whatever they, <laughs> um, Amber found out, and Eve, and they're sitting down talking, and he has to go to that guy who gives him an exposition dump, and the show ends. But I had something I wanted to say. I can't remember what it is. I love the ending, but I'm really worried for the kind of discord that this show creates because when Mark and Eve eventually break up, it's not gonna be pretty. I'm really rooting for Monster Girl and Robot. <laughs> Since they're like adult traps in kids' bodies and there's this whole discourse of will they bang, will they not bang? I don't wanna fucking know. But I'm here like I'm intrigued by the notion because their brains are developed and that's what people keep hammering on about that it's important. But again, um I've been told that in the comics they are able to age themselves up and bang. But I I shouldn't be saying these things in the comic, but at the same time I'm okay with saying it because the creator of the show is working the creator of the comics is working on this show. So there's a lot of tweaks and things that are going to be changed, like the Amber thing. So I'm really afraid of what will happen when they finally break up and we're gonna have to have a Mark and Eve relationship. People are not gonna take that well. People are not gonna take that well. <laughs> oh my god. Or maybe they're not even gonna break up. Maybe they're gonna make Eve endgame. Or they're gonna kill Eve off. I'm I'm welcomed for that. There's a new verb or adjective now. Don't let me go Omni Man on your ass. People want I think what did they say? Go Omni Man on Amber's ass or something like that. Um somebody had issue with my last video title where I said a Blazian couple and they're like, what about the white parts of Mark? And I'm like, my Mark isn't even technically white, he's an alien. So literally 
the blazing thing stands but that's when i was informed eh he's Viltrumite dna so he's basically an alien black couple but i think mark has some asian features doesn't he regardless he's not fucking white he's an alien go eat shit <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna end the video here folks thanks for watching so much for clicking to watch don't forget to like comment subscribe do all the things if you want to keep watching more insanity from me but yeah i'm gonna end the video here thanks for watching Thanks for watching so much for clicking to watch Andrew, but with that being said, this is TVC. Mwah. Signing out.